Let's cross now to Iris Makler in Jerusalem. Iris, who is this Israeli company behind uh, this malware and have they actually responded to uh, this story? Uh, their name is NSO, which is the initials of the three founders of the company. There are three Israelis. They founded it in 2010 after they left the Israeli military. Some reports I've seen say they met in Israeli military intelligence in that famous unit 8200. Uh, it's interesting. We don't know very much about them. They are very secretive and they have not responded in great detail to this either. This, I will say this in their defence. When they created this technology, it was almost, you know, more than a decade ago, it was almost at the level of science fiction. And you can see the appeal of getting into a terrorist's phone, let's say, before the Bataclan uh, attack in Paris or before the attack in Manchester. You can see the appeal of that, being able to stop terror attacks. The problem is, once the technology gets out, everybody can use it. And what we have seen, according to this report um, by journalists across the globe, is that, in fact, it was sold and used by authoritarian regimes to get to journalists, not just for the journalists themselves, of course, but journalists trade in information to see who they're talking to, who's leaking to them from within the government. And in authoritarian countries, that can have very serious ramifications. We saw, for example, that the Saudi journalist, Jamal Khashkhudji, um, his fiance and a friend of his were monitored, their phones were monitored after his murder. So it's very serious. What One thing that NSO have said in a statement is that they do themselves monitor the companies who come to them. Uh, they have said no to some because of their human rights records. They have sold to 55 countries, but they don't specify which. They do also say that they have uh, taken their, their product back from five countries that they deemed were not suitable for it. And Iris, is the Israeli government involved at any level? The Israeli, we haven't heard a statement from the Israeli government, though there have been calls in Israeli newspapers today where this story is a headline story. There have been calls for the Israeli government to take some responsibility. This kind of technology is regarded as a weapon. You can't just sell it from Israel um, around the world. You need a, a approval from the Israeli government, from the uh, foreign ministry and from the defence ministry. So that's why there are calls today to hear from them, because it's being described and as, as an Israeli government failure, as well as a failure of this company itself. And I do just have to say that there is already an outstanding legal action from WhatsApp begun in 2019 in the state of California. Eris Makler reporting there from Jerusalem. Thank you.